So the next topic under our discussion is the arrangement of ions in ionic compound. So if you take if you take an ionic compound an ionic compound an ionic compound is also called ionic molecule an ionic molecule is simply called as a crystal or crystal or crystal lattice so when you go for ionic molecule and ionic compound ionic compound an ionic compound is made up of one metal plus one non metal metals are metals are always cationic and uh, non metals are always anionic so here that means that means this cationic and anionic this cationic and anionic species they come closer to each other through the electrostatic force of attraction and they make up a bond that is ionic bond as we know but before going to that i'll give you a few examples of ionic compounds if you take some examples of ionic compounds sodium chloride sodium chloride you can take magnesium chloride magnesium chloride aluminium fluoride calcium oxide all these are some of the examples of the ionic compounds so what you are noticing here is that is let me say formation of next added in formation of ionic compounds formation of ionic bond in ionic molecules ionic molecules using using lewis electron dot method formation of ionic bond in ionic molecules using lewis electron dot method so here what we need to understand is suppose if i am taking the sodium chloride one of the most important uh, property in the formation of ionic bond in ionic molecules is i'm writing here ionic bond is always formed because of transfer transfer of valency electrons between two atoms if there's a transfer of valence electrons between two atoms then that bond results in the formation of ionic bond suppose for example you take sodium chloride so i'm taking sodium and i'm also taking chlorine if you take electronic arrangement of uh, sodium 2 8 2 8 1 is the electronic arrangement for sodium write the electronic configuration that is 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 and 3 s 1 this is the electronic arrangement and electronic configuration of sodium go for chlorine that is 2 8 7 this is the electronic arrangement configuration 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 2 p 6 3 s 2 3p 3s2 3p 5 3p 5 total number of electrons are 17 electrons and here in sodium the number of valence electrons are 1 in chlorine the number of valence electrons are 7 3s2 3p 7 what you are noticing here is in sodium we have only one valence electron but in chlorine we have seven valence electrons and moreover sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non metal so metals because of less number of valence electrons they lose the electrons losing is losing here in ionic bond formation losing here is nothing but transfer of that electron that valence electron from metal to 
non metal metals can acquire stability by loss of electrons and non metals can acquire stability by gain of electrons so if a metal loses the lost electron is transferred to lost electron from metal a lost valence electron from metal is transferred to the non metal which contains more number of valence electrons so what you noticing here transfer of electrons transfer of valency electron of valency valency electron occurs so here this electron is being transferred from sodium it is being transferred to chlorine so therefore now you find that here sodium acquires one unit of positive charge with the configuration 2,8 of 1s2 2s2 2p6 again chlorine if you take here the chlo this, this chlorine because of uh, one electron from sodium being transferred to chlorine Chl chlorine right now it has seven valence electrons by the electron which is being transferred from the sodium is taken away by the chlorine and uh, now the configuration electronic arrangement 2 8 and 8 electronic configuration 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 I am underlining the valence electrons of chlorine that is 3s2 3p6 so here you are you are finding that here both the sodium in the form of cation and chlorine in the form of anion both of them have acquired stability and uh, now sodium is a cation and chlorine is an anion so the strong electrostatic force of attraction operates a strong electrostatic force of attraction operates between Na plus ion and the Cl minus ion so now if you want to actually define ionic bond here right now between the sodium cation and cl minus ion the strong the strong electrostatic force of attraction which is binding the two oppositely charged ions the strong electrostatic force of attraction which is binding the two oppositely charged ions in a molecule is nothing but the formation of ionic bond whenever you say ionic bond there is no such bond between the two oppositely charged ions only thing is that the two oppositely charged ions cations and anions they come very close to each other and the electrostatic force of attraction operates so they remain intact in the form of individual ions that is cationic species and anionic species they remain as individual ions but the forces are strong electrostatic forces these electrostatic forces itself we understand it in the form of the ionic bond formation taking place in the ionic compounds similarly if you take one more molecule for the formation of ionic bond in the given molecule suppose as, I, as already i told you the second example which you have taken is magnesium chloride if you take magnesium chloride there are three atoms available here in the magnesium chloride if you take magnesium plus chlorine two chlorine atoms here so magnesium has 282 arrangement electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 so these are the valence electrons of magnesium and if you go for chlorine this is 2 8 7 7 are the valence electrons so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 so 3s2 and 3p5 are the valence electrons of the first chlorine and again second chlorine 2 8 7 again 1 s2 2 s2 2 p6 and 3 s2 and uh, 3 p5 you can see here again the second chlorine atom the second chlorine atom again we have seven valence electrons so magnesium because it is a metal it will try to lose these two electrons and uh, it forms these two electrons of magnesium and uh, the two electrons are transferred suppose i am going to take here Two electrons because it has two electrons the two electrons i'm going to show with the the two dots in the form of lewis electron dot structure so if you take if you consider the valence electrons of magnesium valence electrons of two chlorine atoms that is seven and seven so i'll give you the representation like this apply the lewis electron dot method electron dot method so you take magnesium chlorine 
and chlorine here you have seven valence electrons here also you have seven valence electrons for both the chlorines first chlorine second chlorine magnesium so for chlorine for magnesium we have two valence electrons so i am taking two dots over here for chlorine we have seven valence electrons each so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven means I am going to take one more pair over here. Here also, if I take one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So magnesium, if it wants to become stable, it is going to donate one valence electron to the first chlorine. I mean, it will transfer one valence electron to the first chlorine and another valence electron to the second chlorine these are all valence electrons only mind you so the structure is going to become mg 2 plus and chlorine cl minus here also chlorine cl minus so the strong electrostatic force of attractions operates between electrostatic force of attraction strong electrostatic force of attraction electrostatic force of attraction operates here also electrostatic force of force of attraction operates between magnesium and chlorine so finally you can take mg2 plus mg2 plus plus 2 cl minus ions one magnesium carrying two positive charges and two chlorines carrying two negative charges that will result in the molecule mgcl2 is the final molecule that is ionic molecule in the form of ionic bond so this is the ionic bond here the strong electrostatic force of attraction operating between the magnesium and magnesium cation and two chloride anions itself is understood in the form of ionic bond and the molecule is becoming ionic molecule after understanding the formation of ionic bond in ionic molecules now let us speak something about as already i told you an ionic molecule is also called as an ionic crystal an ionic crystal an ionic crystal sometimes it is also called as crystal lattice crystal lattice what do you mean by the word lattice here lattice is group of group of oppositely charged group of oppositely charged ions maybe cations cations or anions arranged 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 in three dimensional pattern of crystal three dimensional pattern of crystal actually a crystal lattice a crystal lattice is identified by the individual individual lattice points individual lattice points these lattice points are also called structural motifs these lattice points are also called structural motifs which they move in uh, the definite pattern because if you go to a crystal lattice the crystal lattice because of its three dimensional pattern so when you speak about the structural motifs these structural motifs are nothing but the lattice points in a crystal lattice this crystal lattice in fact it is three dimensional unit cell so three dimensional unit cell when you say three dimensional unit cell this unit cell is having the four different types this unit cell in the form of three dimensional pattern as a crystal lattice has four different types of lattice points that is uh, bc body center fc face center then uh, edges e for edges and uh, c for corners c for corners if you go for again i am repeating bc 
body center bc body center fc face center face center e for edges e for edges and uh, c corners c for corners so based on this we can take one example for the crystal lattice if you take sodium chloride NaCl is a crystal lattice sodium chloride is a crystal lattice with the 27 lattice points 27 lattice points in its unit cell unit cell is again a smallest portion of the your unit cell is the smallest portion of the crystal lattice where it has the entire properties of the crystal so if you go for sodium chloride when you say 27 lattice points this 27 lattice points uh, covers all the four types of lattice points in the crystal lattice that is body center uh, face center edges and corners